the average shift worker is five to seven kilograms heavier when you look at similar populations that don't do shift work and you're both healthy and you looked after yourself no. over time as well. Yeah, no, I would debate all of that. I mean, I think, well, you, and I'm happy to talk about it and be honest with people about it because when I first started this job, I'd wake up at 3 a.m. and I'd have a piece of toast or something and then I'd have something during the program and then I'd have breakfast after the program and my weight started ballooning and I'd hit an age where it wasn't easy to get it off. And you and Dr. Tom actually helped me with that and suggested fasting, which was a great method for me. I'll just interject, we, we, we gave you some guidance. Yes. You were a wonderful student. You right. doubled down and, and I can remember then yeah. seeing you about three months yeah. later and I just went, like but later. it's so easy to what you know what and I'm starting that process again now because the last six months of 2022 was not a great six months for me there was a lot of stuff going on and the first things that kind of drop away unfortunately are the health aspect which is not great I, I don't think I'm a great example of someone looking after themselves when they should so i appreciate your comment 2023 is going to be a different year the sleep thing though maybe it's the kind of energy levels i do feel, find at 8 p.m i'm ready to go out dancing <laughs> like i'm just honestly i am i am so wide awake and so i do take sleeping tablets and you know i've spoken to my doctor about that and i'd love to be able to find the pattern that michael has found but I've tried everything and... If you do the job long enough, Lisa, you'll be where I am.